Welcome to this webinar, which will review the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services Quality Measure Composite Score. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services will be referred to as CMS. The Quality Measure Composite Score will be referred to as the Composite Score. And the National Nursing Home Quality Care Collaborative will be referred to as the NNHQCC. The Composite Score was developed by CMS to monitor NNHQCC progress at the national, state, and individual nursing home levels. The Composite Score is calculated using the 13 long state quality measures publicly reported on Nursing Home Compare. It reflects the cumulative effect of systems improvement. The Composite Score is not intended to replace or supersede existing local or federal initiatives including the five-star rating system. It is offered as another way to look at quality in nursing homes from a systems perspective. These are the 13 long-stay measures that determine the composite score. The composite score is calculated by summing the 13 long-stay quality measure numerators to obtain the composite score numerator, summing the 13 long-stay quality measure denominators to obtain the composite denominator, and then dividing the composite numerator by the composite denominator and multiplying by 100. In contrast to all of the other quality measures, for the two vaccine measures, the higher percentages are better. Because they're directionally opposite of the others, before the numerators and the denominators can be summed, the direction of the two vaccine measures must be reversed. This methodology is based on the opportunity model because the denominator represents the number of opportunities to provide or reflect high quality care, and the numerator represents the number of times an opportunity was missed. Since the numerator represents the number of times an opportunity was missed, the lower the composite score, the better, since a higher numerator will create a higher composite score. When reviewing your composite scores, Keep in mind that the goal for the NNHQCC is to achieve a score of 6 or better, better being lower. This was established as the goal because prior to the launch of the NNHQCC, 10% of the nation's nursing homes were already performing at this level or better. As your home incorporates QAPI principles and practices into your culture, and quality improvement becomes a data-driven systems approach, you should see improvement in all of your quality measures. These improvements will be reflected as a decrease in your composite score. However, keep in mind that there are likely multiple reasons why individual homes may have a high or low composite score, which may not necessarily reflect the quality of your organization. To improve your composite score, it is important that you review your CASPER reports and understand how each of the 13 quality measures that make up the composite score is calculated. Knowing how each quality score is calculated and reviewing the MDS for coding accuracy will help you understand what needs to be done to improve each of the quality measures. Once you have reviewed the data, you can focus quality improvement efforts on areas with higher numbers of missed opportunities or systems improvements that will affect other areas. For example, reducing the use of unnecessary antipsychotic me medications can lead to improvements in reducing the number of falls and improving resident mobility, alertness, appetite, and participation in activities of daily living. For further information about the composite score or about the National Nursing Home Quality Care Collaborative, please contact your State Lake Superior Quality Innovation Network lead listed on this slide. For more information about the quality measures, refer to the MDS 3.0 RAI Manual and the MDS 3.0 Quality Measure Users Manual. To clarify questions about the MDS and or quality measures, contact your State RAI Coordinator. Be sure to check out our short videos on each of the 13 quality measures that make up the composite score. Viewing the videos for each of these 13 quality measures will help your team understand how each measure is calculated and will offer suggestions on the first steps to improve each quality measure. Thank you.